Okay. Today's lip is brought to you by Ami Collet. This is their lip oil in the shade Excellence. It's one of my favorite lippies. Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome to another video. So today we're gonna sit down. I'm gonna try and talk myself out of most of the things in my Sephora sale shopping cart. I do this. I put things in my cart over time. And then when it comes down to it, I pull things out. So today I have actually gone through and duped most of the products that I want. And uh, we're just going to go through it and figure out what I actually need. Admittedly, like I don't need anything, but I want. But I don't necessarily want to spend the money either. So let's let's get down to business. Da, da, dum, 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 dum. Okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven items in my shopping cart, adding up to a grand total of three hundred and eighty one dollars. That's a lot. That's a lot. I don't I don't need to spend that much money. Mostly because a lot of these are things that I have in similar fashion, just different packaging. So let's, 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 let's. So the first thing on my list is kind of dumb, admittedly. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wand in Pillow Talk. I have a mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wand in Pillow Talk. So I have a $42 item in my cart when I have it in my hand. I don't know why, but I heard that these were going to be limited edition and that they had kind of disappeared. And I got afraid. I was like, what if I use that one up and I love it and I, don't, I can't buy it again. That doesn't really seem to be the case. So I am, I am going to, um, yeet that from my cart, as the kids say, and this is going to stick around and actually get used and loved on. All right. Next thing is the Say, um, Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. It is $32. I have in front of me, and I'm going to be referencing this quite a bit in this video, so gird your loins. This is from Salt New York, which is a brand that I love. Um, I have a cream bronzer right here. I also have a cream bronzer right here. I own three of these Phytosurgeons cream bronzers. I also have the Makeup by Mario cream bronzer. So that's four, five, I have six cream bronzers. I don't need another one. No matter how different, light, desaturated, I don't need another cream bronzer. So that is getting removed from the cart. I don't know why I put this in here. It's, it's something I have been staring at and oogling and just been like, oh, I know it's basic, but I want it. And that is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I like Natasha Denona's formulas. I really do. Her, her mattes don't really spread that well, but that's what I go for when I use her eyeshadows. I know what I'm getting. And if I don't want that, I can use a different formula. I, I didn't pull anything out for this because I have... You know, I have the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. I have a couple of NARS palettes. And I like these formulas 
better. And I don't need to spend $65 on a bunch of eyeshadows. The thing, the thing that really draws me towards Natasha Denona is the, the depotability, is the, the, the de depotability of her palettes and the ability to take the shadows out and build my own color stories. I already have stuff that I can do that with. And in truth, I built a dupe palette for this a very long time ago. It was before I started filming. And the truth is I built it and then I never used it. I didn't use the dupe palette that I built for the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. So I think I can safely not only remove this from my cart, but remove it from my loves list and just get it out of my life. All right, these might actually stay in my cart. These are the Soft Services Buffing Bar Exfoliating Body Bar for KP and ingrown hairs. So I have KP on the back of my arms. I also have it on the front of my legs and it, it gets itchy, it gets uncomfortable. It just, it, it's not something that I enjoy dealing with and I've had it most of my life. And I didn't know what it was. I have the um, CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser. I have the one from Kosas. It's a, it's a body wash, but it also has salicylic acid in it. And I also have this. This is a brand new tube of the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. This was just on sale at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. This does a good job, but I, I want to see how these soft services bars measure up. I, I have heard really good things, and I honestly think I'm going to leave these in my shopping cart. They're $25, and they're going to they're gonna be 20% off. Because last year I managed to be Sephora Rouge. I'm trying not to do that this year. Um, Ami Cole, I have another one of their hydrating lip treatment oils. It, I have, if I want a wash of pink, I have washes of pink. So this is the, one of the e.l.f. hydrating core lip shines. And it advertises itself as a lipstick, but it's very, very sheer. And honestly, I really like the formula of this. I don't reach for it as much as I used to because I have gotten so spoiled. I have gotten so spoiled by all of the beautiful lip treatments that I have acquired. And I forget about this. I um, I don't know if putting this on the tray is going to help, but... Putting it in this video is going to remind me that it's there and it's beautiful and I love it. Also, this is almost brand new to me. I got this in my Allure Beauty Box last month. This is one of the YSL Rouge Volupte Shines. Now, I, I have heard that this formula is being reformulated, which is good because this is, it's a pretty color. It really is. It's a lovely color but it doesn't last and I don't feel like it nourishes my lips as well. However, if I take this and I, and I layer a really lovely thick lip oil on top of it, then we've got a party going. Um, this is the, the e.l.f. Reviver lip oil that I have been going on and on about since I got it, but I want it because I know how much I love this formula. Oh, I know how much I love this Amicole formula. It's so good. It's rich. It's nourishing. But what I'm going to do is try and finish. Oh, I also have, I forgot about this, the Merit lip oil that I, I just reviewed in the shade uh, Jeté. So this is another pink tinted lip treatment. I need to finish some of the lip oils and the lipsticks and the lip treatments that I have open before I buy another really rich one that I'm going to start using and then neglect the ones I have. 
The next one, I don't know that this is going to come out of my cart because it's so pretty and it's a new formula and it's, it's only, it's $28. So Bosma, this is, the next product is Bosma, the cream blush in the shade mauve. I love a mauve blush. I really do. The Bosma cream blush. I love mauve. I love a mauve. But here's the trick. Here's the thing. I have a mauve. I have recently come to terms with the fact that as much as I love Salt New York, their formulas just don't work as much for me anymore. However, if I want a mauve, that is a brownie mauve. It's really lovely. This is the shade Maple. And then I have an an actual blush called Mauve in here. I also have Khaki's Cool Tone Blushes from her recent release. So that is Maple and Mauve. And then we have, and then we have Sunrise. This is from the Apre Ski Collection with um, Finding Ferdinand and Khaki Reviews Beauty. So there we've got a lovely cross-section of mauve. I've got a brownie mauve, a more like plummy traditional mauve, and then like a slightly sun sunnier mauve. It's got a little more peach, a little more white to it. I have mauve blushes. Does that mean I don't want this one? Not at all. And I feel like it's reasonably priced for a, as much product as you get. You get, so you get 0.15 ounces. How much is this? Okay, so, so these little jars are 0.12 ounces. The Bosma is 0.15. So the amount of product you get is comparable. And these are $28. I think this one's gonna stay in my cart. I, re I really do. I have mauve blushes. But I want this one. I want, I want to try her formulas. I have heard such good things about her foundation stick, which is something that I was like, am I going to put that in the cart? Do I want it? I do want it. But do I need or use full coverage foundation? We're actually getting to that in the next one. So, okay. Moving on to full coverage concealer sticks. I was talking earlier about, I just talked about the Bosma, which I didn't put in my cart, but I wanted to. I was tempted. Instead, I have the Merit Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Foundation and Concealer Stick. I'm going to be doing some traveling this coming summer, and I love the idea of throwing one item in my bag and making that work for everything. However, however, so I have the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. I love this. It's what I'm wearing today. I've started using it as a foundation again, and it's so pretty and it blends out so nicely. I can't think of anything wearing better than this. I also have, if I want full coverage, I've got full coverage. So I have the Bobbi Brown foundation, or um, Bobbi Brown concealer stick. This is practically brand new. I don't know if I'm ever actually gonna use this up. I bought it for a specific purpose and I've kind of drifted away from that. However, if I do want full coverage, I know it's here. I also have the NARS soft matte concealer, which is also full coverage. Like this is, these two are the most full coverage concealers I have ever used. They really are. And then I also have, as far as foundation goes, the Monica Blender Blender Cover, which is just the, the balmiest, meltiest, oh, it's a lovely formula. It's got a lot of pigment to it. And I can get full coverage out of this. Now, now, if I am flying, if I'm 
really trying to take a condensed bag of makeup, I can do that relatively easily without spending $38 on a new complexion product when I have complexion products that I love. So that one is going to get, is going to get the boot. Okay. So in my cart right now, I have the soft services buffing bars and the Bosma cream blush. Let's move on. Patrick Ta, I have been tempted by his blush duos for so long. And the thing that has kept me from pulling the trigger are the colors. I just don't, I didn't mesh with any of the other shades he has, but now he has two that really are enticing. Like they are super duper. I want them. Oh my goodness. So we have the shade Not Too Much, which is a soft rosy taupe. She's the Moment, which is a soft tangerine. Well, I just discovered that I have persimmon from Salt New York. So I don't need the cream. And, and I know that there are other formulas out there that if I buy a peach blush, it's going to be the one I want. I don't know. I know that these formulas work together, but I don't necessarily need them in one compact. I can build my own compact. That's why I have the makeup collection that I do. So I can use my singles. I can use my, oh, I have, I have a palette here of individual blushes. So soft peach. That's more of a shimmer peach. This is a burnt peach. Yeah. So I also have these to play with and I can put these in the same palette as my powders, as my creams. I know it's blasphemy, but that's the way I function with my makeup. So I am going to add these Patrick Ta blushes to my loves list. Oh, wait, <laughs> this one's sold out. So it's not really a problem. It's not really something I can, I need to address. Okay. The next thing is the Color Wow Style on Steroids Color Safe Texture Spray. I love texture sprays. I have relatively flat, thin hair, but I have a lot of it. So I love building texture into my roots. I love you know, I slept with my hair in sock curls a couple nights ago, knowing that it would just leave me with this fun, bouncy texture. And throughout the, you know, week to 10 days between when I wash my hair, I love adding texture sprays. Now, I have been using the Batiste. This is the dry, sh the texturizing dry shampoo. It's nice. It's drugstore. So it's like eight, maybe $10, but it's drying. And I know that that's kind of the point of a texture spray is to absorb extra oils, to give your hair that, 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 um, friction so that it builds up some texture. I have heard that this one is light, it's lightweight. It doesn't wear, weigh your hair down, which for someone with you know, relatively thin hair like I have, that's huge. And this is $28, which is a lot for a hair care product, admittedly. But I'm buying it as an experiment to see how it stacks up the other texture products that I have used. So that's going to stay in my cart. I have next Glossier Ultra Lip High Shine Lipstick with Hyaluronic Acid in the shade Lucite. I, I really like the Ultra Lip formula. I have one of these in Trench and it's so pretty. Like that brown was the lipstick that made me go like, oh, brown, brown lips. Okay. But right next to me, I have the uh the make beauty in halo moon which is a soft pink iridescent lip treatment 
And I actually consider these a little bit more um, treatment-like than the Glossier. I like the Glossier and I want this one, but like I said earlier, I need to finish some of my lip products before I go purchasing others. Yeah, so the, the Glossier Ultra Lip is $20, which for a lovely thin treatment product is right square in that median price. It, I'm looking at Sephora's website and the Glossier Ultra Lip is right next to the Dior Lip Oil Lip Glows. The Dior is 40. I'm not touching that. I have a couple high-end lip products. They're good. I enjoy them. I'm not buying any more. I'm just not. So, and the last product may end up sticking around. So this is the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Moisture Repair Balm Serum with Hyaluronic Acid and Squalane. My skin, my dry, dry skin, loves squalane, loves it. Um, there, I can't think of another ingredient that my skin really soaks up more than squalene. And I, and this thing is huge and it's just this, this big pot of hydrating treatment product. And I have stuff like that. Like this is the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Primer. Yeah, it smells okay. I need to use this before it starts going off. However, stuff like this I use as, I don't use it on top, under my makeup because I put my makeup on top of my skincare. And my skincare I top off with a sunscreen. So I don't necessarily need it, but I feel like it would be a good thing to have around for those days where my skin is just like extra thirsty and not necessarily use it as a primer but use it as a skincare product. I believe that that's what it's marketed as. And it's a little expensive. It's $38, but mm, I know that I will use this up. I know that. It's not going to sit in a drawer and go bad. It's something that I will use under my sunscreen, you know, throughout the coming fall and winter when my skin goes extra dry starting in September. So that is it. I am left with four products in my Sephora cart. The Soft Services Buffing Bar, the Bosma Cream Blush, the Color Wow Style on Steroids Color Safe Texture Spray, and the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. So that brings my cart down to $122. 20% off. It's going to take about $24 off. It's going to take my cart down to $100. I'm good with that. That is a much more reasonable price than, than the $300 that I had earlier. If you two are trying to purchase less and are tempted by all of these new releases, I, I urge you, encourage you, to look in your collection, look around you, see what you have squirreled away in the backup drawer. We all have the backup drawer. We all have a backup drawer. And, you know, maybe do something else. Makeup is volatile and it goes bad. So we need to keep remembering that the more that we buy, the less we're gonna use overall and the more makeup is going to go bad and you're just going to feel like you wasted your money. I am really happy with what I came up with for my shopping cart. I got some, I got rid of some things that I didn't think I would get rid of. And I am really pleased with that. Really. I may end up putting the Amico Layla product back in there because I do really love that formula. And I am using the ever loving heck out of the one I have. That will do it for today's video. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking around. To the new subscribers, welcome. 
To my current subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. You are helping my channel grow bit by bit, and I, I'm just, I am thrilled with where we're going right now. I hope you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of each other, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, friends. The internet wants to meet you. Can they see your handsome face? Can you look right there? Oh, look at that. That big boy. Why'd you get so big? Why'd you get so big? There you go. Oh, good job, fish. And that handsome little bow tie of yours. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> what? Ooh, look at that face. Let's make our model faces into the camera. What do you say? No? Like, no, we'll not model today. Did not get my 10,000 treats today. Don't ever talk to me or my son again. Yes. You have a beautiful boopable nose. Yes, you do. Okay. That was fun.